Tonight, the Roastmaster General Jeff Ross finally comes off the judges bench and into the arena to make his battling debut. Roastmaster, what's your strategy tonight? He's going against this guy, NBA All-Star Blake Griffin. Blake, you ready for this tonight? It's gonna get ugly. Wait, it can actually get uglier than Jeff? Roast battle starts now. We got the ready for battle! I've been preparing to do my first roast battle and I've been watching these battles for years and I gotta admit I have a new respect for the battlers. The prep, the psychological challenges in your head of when to hit, when to take the joke, and when to attack. It's a lot to think about. I don't have a lot of comedy experience. I just enjoy comedy. I watch comedy. I love stand-up, comedy movies, TV shows. I'd watched the Comedy Central roast for a long time. Blake's a champion, you know? He's a championship-level basketball player, and guys like him have been talking smack, taking jokes since he's a kid, so I do think he's kind of a smack-talk expert. All the trash talk you do in the NBA is just kind of like one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody else is really listening. So this is a little different when you're on stage in front of a crowd, mic'd up for a TV show. Getting judged by my pals is gonna be tough, but that's another thing that battlers have to go through all the time. We're a big roast battle family. So even though I'm rising to the challenge of doing my first roast battle, I still feel very much at home, like this is my home court. I feel like I'm the underdog in this situation, so I don't know, I don't really see it as much pressure. I feel like the pressure's on me. I'm ready. Who's ready for the main event? Yeah. Our challenger is no stranger to slams. He was an NBA Rookie of the Year, slam dunk champion, and a five-time NBA All-Star. Los Angeles, please welcome back for one night only, he's tall and ready to ball, Big Blake Griffin! <laughs> from Newark, New Jersey, weighing in at way more than he should. He's roasted everyone from criminals to the President of the United States, which is actually the same thing. Please welcome from Brick City, the ball buster, our Roastmaster General, Jeffrey Ross! <laughs> Why'd you challenge Jeff? Honestly, man, when it, when it comes to this, like whether it's basketball or something like this, I always want to go against the best. So I asked like 10 people and none of them could do it. So here we are. <laughs> Jeff, why did you accept Blake's challenge? Because I am the LeBron of roasting, which is still better than being the Blake Griffin of basketball. All right, Jeff, you know the rules because you invented them. But for Blake's sake and for Pete's sake, here are the rules of roast battle. Rule one, original material only. Rule two, no physical contact. And Blake, I am the ref. No bitching, no moaning, no complaining. And after every battle, we hug. Jeff, Blake, who wants to go first? I would love to go first. Oh! Okay! Blake Griffin! Peter Griffin! Let's roast! Um, 
just real quick before we get started, I uh, honestly I have some unfortunate news to share with you guys. Uh, after working for 24 hours straight, Jeff's makeup girl just hung herself in the back. <laughs> yes, yes, you're you're ugly, is what I. Blake, I'm just glad to see you healthy and ready for the season. Everybody talks about your busted knees. No one talks about that busted face. You look like Morgan Freeman bleached. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Honestly, I feel like you could get hurt, but the only way you could get inside of a gym if you literally f a guy named Jim. No, listen, 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 guys, listen. It's a roast battle, you know? So Jeff's gonna take a couple on the chin tonight. But, um, Jeff, I, I'm honestly, like, I'm, I'm a gracious guy, so I'm gonna let you decide which one of your chins you take it on. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chins in my bank account! Chins in my bank account! Chins! Blake, good luck in Detroit. <laughs> That's the whole joke. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. Good luck in Detroit, Blake. You know what? I think you're just white enough not to get shot by the cops. But be careful because you're now the worst shooter in the most violent city in America. <laughs> matter Blake lives matter Blake lives matter <laughs> that's good man a mixed race joke is really really good considering you look like the only neo-nazi Jewish person <laughs> Jeff you're so ugly today I realized for the first time that Jeff Ross looks like Darth Vader after they took his helmet off <laughs> Blake, you're half Haitian, so it's no wonder all your teams have been a disaster with no leadership begging for help. <laughs> yeah! What do you got, you Space Jam alien? Jeff, it's, it's really funny that you bring that up. You know, you, uh, you're such a bald piece of shit. It honestly looks like we both got f***ed over by the Clippers. Blake, I do hope someday you come back to California to pursue your show business dreams because you never know when Hollywood's gonna be looking for a leading man that looks like uh, Patrick Ewing a Chucky doll. You look like Pippi extra long stocking. That's better, that's better, that's better. You look like, oh, an, al you look like an albino that God cooked too long. That's good, that's good. Last joke. Jeff, uh, you know, when people talk about the best basketball player of all time, yeah. they refer to him as the GOAT. And when people talk about the best roast master of all time, they refer to him as Anthony Jeselnik. You want to get personal, I'll get personal. 
Blake, everyone knows you recently dated Kendall Jenner. But what they don't know is, I heard she broke up with you because she caught you staring at her dad's tits. And just like the Clippers, Kendall eventually traded you for another basketball player. Man! Wait, wait, man. Man. Dude, dude, dude. The season hasn't even started yet. Your ex is already leading you in rebounds. <laughs> That's, um, no, take a lap, take a lap, take a lap, take a lap, take a lap. That's, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's really, really, really funny. But like, real quick, let's just talk real quick about the last girl that Jeff Ross f Last girl that Jeff Ross to see. She, okay, so. So, if 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 Jeff if Jeff is 89 years old. Wait 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 no 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 for real for real guys 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 let me just let me think for a second. Let me, the last girl that Jeff Ross. The, wait, guys, God, can I get a second? Stop, it's not, this isn't a joke. Like, we're thinking about the last girl that Jeff Ross <laughs> I, uh, have you ever anyone? Ever. Blake Griffin. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the last girl that Jeff Ross Literally, that's all I got. That's all I got. Oh my God! Sound the buzzer! This one's over! You killed me. That hurt. No. Did I have had sex? You know that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this is the thing. Is I just don't know that for dude, sure. Dude, I want. I don't know who wins, but I want to rematch either way, man. I, I, we go toe to toe and we come back and we do it again. It's a heavyweight fight. We just saw Lob City and Slob City go one on one. Judges, I get to pick who goes first here. Anthony, who scored? Oh, this is so tough. Jeff, I always describe you as my brother from another mother. But Blake, you came out here as an amateur an amateur roaster, and you gave it the respect it deserved. I like how you pointed out that I'm the best roaster of all time. <laughs> A lot of people don't get that right, so I appreciate that you did, and you had some great jokes. My only concern, I hope your hands are okay, because you knocked him out like he was a trainer on your own team. And it was, uh, <laughs> it was amazing. I vote for Blake. Sorry, Jeff. Don't take it personally, but it is very personal. <laughs> Blake Griffin, one vote. Jeff Ross, no votes. Nikki Glaser, who do you like? I thought this was gonna be so easy. You know, like, it's Jeff Ross. It's Jeff Ross, the, the greatest, the, he's the greatest at this. And Blake Griffin, I cannot believe how hot you are, but also... <laughs> Yes. That was yeah, distracting. We didn't, we didn't know you could be funny. We've only seen you in your Kia commercials. So we didn't know. <laughs> Blake, you came out with such a dark joke about Jeff's makeup girl hanging herself, which I just loved. Thank you. Thank you. And then a guy named Jim, the, the uh, and then the last joke, I loved what you did. You, like, you turned the style on its head. You definitely tried some different stuff. You sat on the ground. You let that last joke just sit and sit and sit and sit. And um, 
but I, I, I was so impressed. This should be so much easier than it is. But then it's just Jeff, Nikki. Nikki makes it hard. I know. <laughs> Jeff, I love that you're dressed like JFK Jr. at his dad's funeral. And um, <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> Jeff, the whole time, I mean, you brought it the whole time, and then when you got into the, the, Kendall, stu the, the Kendall stuff with the dad's tits, I mean, that was just another level. I, I, Jeff Ross, you won this. You won, oh. Jeff. Oh! Tied up! It was up. close, though. It was hard. One for Blake Griffin, one for Jeff Ross. Pete Davidson, you're ethnically ambiguous, just like Blake Griffin. You going for the home team or big homie Jeff Ross? I thought Blake did a fantastic job. It's, it's annoying. It's annoying how talented you are. I've always said this to my friends. You're, I hope we could be friends, too. Uh, no, you're sick. I'm a big fan. But that last show lasted longer than, like, any of your seasons. And uh, it was like... That shit. That shit, like, really, like, that was long as... But you did as good as, like, you could ever do. Like, I wouldn't be able to do as that, that good. Also, Anthony Jeselnik is the best roast joke guy of all time. Him and Geraldo. Uh, so that was true. Uh, but Jeff, uh, you look like Jack Black in School of Crack Rock. And, uh... <laughs> Lawrence is good at piano. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on mushrooms. Anyway, <laughs> Jeff, seriously. You had me dying also when you shot it and it went in. I've like never been happier for a person. <laughs> I wanted that ball to go in so bad. I was like, ah, oh, it's, yeah. Uh, you won, Jeff, Jeff won. Yeah, he oh did. Oh my God. No, but, like Blake, Blake did as good as you could possibly do and lose. It's his show. It's his battle. Jeff Ross wins. Stay in the roast game, bro. It's really fun having you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It was, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. The first time to go against the Masters. Yeah, fun. I love that, bro. Hey, I've never seen a first-time roast battler do as well as Blake Griffin. I am making Blake Griffin roast battle rookie of the year. Thank you. We got the record for battle. 